that is something I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. That is, that is my job, that's my personal job, to educate Barbadians on what we have and not promote what really doesn't belong to us. If it doesn't belong to us, but it's good, I can understand you enjoying it. But when I see people drinking some of the stuff that is imported and sold at ridiculous prices, that is in no way near the quality of the rums that we have here, that bothers me. It's only yesterday I was doing a seminar and I said to one of the guys, what do you drink? And he called uh, the brand that he drinks and uh, I said, why? And he said, because this is what it is. And I said to him, but do you understand that that's only a two-year-old product? Do you understand that where that come from, people don't really drink that? Do you understand that when you are drinking that and you're not drinking your rum, people do not understand that who understands spirits? So I explained to him, our Eclipse rum, which is our youngest uh, blended rum, is a blend between two and seven. And then you're drinking a two-year-old product. The only difference between the two that I'm gonna say, which is significant, is that one is made from sugar or molasses, and one is made from grapes, all right? People have this thing as if it's made in Barbados, it's, it's Barbados rum, it's just rum. Rum is make you fall down. Rum is get headaches, all that foolishness. And that's just a notion because uh, trust me, I, I've consumed so much rum in, in my time. Uh, not, not drunken and falling down, but that's what I enjoy. I enjoy rum. And I drink all kinds of stuff, but I understand what rum really is. And my job right now is to explain to people what it really is. People think that you just make rum like your grandma would make some guava wine inside of a, a demijohn, and that's rum, but that's not rum. Rum has so much art to go into it, so much craftsmanship. It is, it is the master blender who's behind this. Who is going to decide that I'm going to take a two-year-old product, I'm going to mix it with a four, a six. I'm going to put 40% of a double distillation and 60% of a single distillation to make this particular blend. It's an art. It is a lot that goes into it to make it what it is. It is not something you just slap your finger and it happens. There's a lot of work going in to rum. And you know, it is very sad when I travel abroad and I see people gravitating towards uh, Mount Gay rum. I mean, gravitating like, oh my God, it's the best thing in the world. And I come back here and see my bedroom people thinking, you know, well, it's just rum. But it's not just rum. It is good rum. Yeah. As I said to you, I'm a rum shop guy. So when I'm in the rum shops, I'm drinking rum and ginger ale. That's my drink, with a splash of water. That's my drink. If I'm at home and I have friends over, I'm drinking uh, rum or whatever they're drinking. Uh, after dinner for me is always extra on the rocks or 1703 when I can afford it. Although I've created many cocktails in my time, I am truly not a cocktail person, but I, I love an old fashioned, to be quite honest with you, made with Mount Gay extra old rum. I like it done the real nice way with the actual uh, zest from the orange skins. I love that. That's, that's my cocktail.